goals for this activity are for children to learn uh, patience, they will learn empathy for nature's creatures, plants, and uh, they will learn collaboration uh, because they will have to work with each other in order to make the English garden. And then, of course, <laughs> the main goal is to introduce English in a new context. need uh, a box. We usually use uh, wooden boxes because they look, look really nice and then you would need uh, a plastic sheet so the soil doesn't come out. Uh, you will need some soil, some good garden soil and the plants you want to plant. And usually we also use some small plastic cups that children use to put the soil in the box. The idea of this project is that everybody can have a small garden inside, indoors, I mean, without having a garden. Salads, greens, usually, uh, they need less sun that, than plants that will produce fruit, like the tomatoes for example, but I guess a couple of hours a day uh, would be needed. Seasonality is really, really, really important because if you choose the wrong plants, they won't grow, uh, they will get sick. Um, so before choosing the plants, check with our list in our uh, uh, teacher's book. And then otherwise you can also check online, but be sure you, you choose the right plants. Salads they grow quite quickly. After the first two or three days, you will have the first small plants coming out, and uh, after two or three weeks, you can start collecting the first leaves. need to keep it watered, of course, it shouldn't dry out because plants will suffer. Uh, you have to be careful not to water it too much. And then um, plants need some sunlight. teacher's book we have many many activities that actually vary from uh, sound exploration, art activities, uh, movement. We made the, this journal because we thought it would be nice for, ki for kids to have actually um, a book where they can write everything they, uh, everything they see, all the changes and they can really monitor their plans and document everything.